back out here at Academy. We got our RSO today is going to be Mike. And we're about to have a real good time on these trails. We've got about uh, eight vehicles behind us, all Jeeps, and except for one Bronco, I believe. And we're heading into the woods. It's quite overgrown this time of year. Lots of dog fennel. All right, we've got our first vehicle stuck in the nasty mud pit back on the wooded trails here. This Mojave Jeep Gladiator. Don't go too far, Mike, because you might be in it. All right, we've strapped this uh, Mojave Gladiator up to this Xterra, the RSO's vehicle. And we're just gonna snatch him out with this big beefy rope. Y'all got bugs for y'all. Yep. Yeah, this is definitely a thick area. That's why we get that. Yeah. <laughs> Ready. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> How's that feel, Jordan? Very good. All right, here we've got Jake and Hale's Fury. He's got 37, well-built Jeep. The only other one we've ever seen go through this and come out on their own has been another very similar setup. Man, feel all that mud. Just pushing it. Make some left now. We've got a super tight section tight. here for this Bronco. They're gonna make it. Wow, wow. That is nasty tight. <laughs> yeah, you got room to come this way. That Bronco looks gnarly, I love it. here on what Academy dubs Afghan Hill. This is about a 25 foot tall hill, ridge line. Lots of fun, get way on up there. Coming over the log bridge. The wider wheelbase is a the wheelbase. Have a little more pucker back with that one. Nice job. So on this log bridge, just make sure your past the driver tires are snugly on the left uh, most telephone pole, and your right one should be aligned perfectly. Right. Having a good time? Given, oh, this is wow, one way to do it. That is definitely the fastest that we've seen go through that pit. <laughs> right, we 
saw Dave here in the uh, Billy Goat a couple of weeks back. He had two points. Dang! Dang! <laughs> they got swamped! Dave and the Billy Goat is coming around to give it another try. He's not going to give up today. Oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it! Nice! Wow. <laughs> All right, we are out here at Academy and this is known as the sink or swim mud pit. It stops about 50% of the vehicles that come through here. Chris is going to give us a quick depth check. Let's see how that looks, Chris. Nope, not too bad. It's very soft on the bottom though. That's fussy when this people hung up. I don't know, it's kind of very deceiving. Yeah, it's only about a foot, of, if even a foot. Okay, there's some deep spots there in the middle. Yeah, why don't you walk in the center and see how oh, deep it is. I'm good. <laughs> we'll just let Hale's Fury give us a first peek. Yep, yeah, so that's Hale's Fury right there. And this is the owner, Jake, right here. And it's on 37s, lockers, front and rear. Anything other notable about that? Uh, what gears are you running in the axles? Uh, 488. 488 gears, the 3.6? Yep. Nice. All right, we'll see how she does in the mud pit. No problem for Hale's Fury. Easy peasy. Folks, we've got Jake Hale with Hale's Fury. We've seen, seen him do all sorts of shit through the ages. Uh, Jake has been to the Proving Grounds, actually helped us build an obstacle there. Yeah. Um, he's been to Ryan's Ranch and now finally out here at Academy. What do you think? Um, this place is a blast. It's got a lot as far as separate trail locations, um, good mud holes, it's got good articulation, um, hill climbs. I, I love it. It's got a little bit of everything. Um, just fantastic. Experience. Awesome. And of the three locations, I'm going to say this because it's the largest, uh -huh. um, far. it has, has the most to offer, um, right. so yeah. Okay, well thanks man. And what do we got going on with this Jeep? Tell us um, your mods or any well, if you have. Build list is, has grown substantially. Um, took it from a, a stock sport and first thing I did was a rock crawler, uh, three and a half inch lift. Um, I have since put it at four and a half inch with Falcon shocks. Um, you know, rock fighters and all my fenders are all from JCR. Uh, I like to surround myself in steel. Then I've got cold air intake, high tuck exhaust, onboard air underneath. Um, let's see, I, re I replaced my front axle with a solid Dana 44. Redid the gears at 488 and then uh, front and rear lockers. So I've I bought it as a sport knowing I was going to replace everything that Rubicon would put on it mm -hmm. and uh, I'm really really happy with it now. Awesome. So that's about as built as you can have a Jeep. Yeah, it's there's very few things I could do at this point and I'm actually happy about that because that's less yeah. money. Right, right. Well, she's freaking phenomenal. Thanks yeah. for coming out again. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Have a safe trip home. Thanks. Cool. There he goes. See ya, Jake. All right, we're sending our guests out for their free-for-all run. They're gonna hit some trails uh, that we did this morning and go have a good time with the rest of the time that we have out here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us to grow this channel. And we really wanna keep doing some of this off-roading stuff and bringing it to you. There's not much to watch as far as off-road content um, from Southeast Virginia, coastal North Carolina. And we're here bringing it to you, so keep those views coming and uh, we'll be back.